financial statement analysis unit 2.2 balance sheet in this uh, unit we will discuss the importance of the balance sheet and how do we make a balance sheet and i will also make one balance sheet with you with the help of the trial balance um, uh, the topic is financial statement analysis see now in this unit um, you should first know what are financial statements and then we will talk about the analysis and one uh, one of the important uh, kind of analysis is financial ratios analysis ratio analysis we call it shortly and then in unit three again we will also discuss financial statement analysis and what are different kind of analysis that also we will discuss but in this unit uh, unit two we just want to make you familiar with um, the statements you you know statements you you have done accounting courses and you know it but again it's just a little refresher so now let us talk about the balance sheet what is balance sheet balance sheet is again one of a very important uh, financial statement that shows the company's position in terms of assets and liabilities okay uh, so let us look at the formal definition a balance sheet is a financial statement that reports a company's asset liabilities and shareholders equity the balance sheet is one of the three income statements um, and that are, that are evaluated by different businesses for different purposes for example for the sake of investment for the sake of giving loan approving a loan or not approving a loan for the sake of investing in any asset in that company um, uh, for the for the sake of company's position for the sake of company's liquidity position how much cash is there and how much account receivables there how to know the company company's liquidity position to know that is the company able to pay pay back the liabilities does the company have this much assets that uh, they uh, they can pay off their liabilities how they meet their short term liabilities do they have uh, strength to meet uh, the short term liabilities or the long term liabilities this is all information that you get from and uh, that you gather from the balance sheet okay Okay, so now the, um, there are different components in the balance sheet. Some of the basics are assets, shareholders, equity, and then liabilities. These are three basics, and they are further divided into current asset and long-term assets, current liabilities, and short-term liabilities. Okay, now how do you make a balance sheet? You simply make a balance sheet um, by dividing your your work into two parts the one is the asset side and the other is uh, liabilities and the owner's equity side and then you record all the items which are in the asset side on the asset side and then you record all the items which are in the liability and owner's equity side uh, on that side and then you add up and then this equation if you can you and can you all see this equation this equation should satisfy asset equals to liability plus owner's equity this is one of the very not in fact this is the accounting equation this is a very famous accounting equation or this accounting equation pe hi balance sheet base karti hai to is is accounting equation ko bilkul satisfy hona chahiye and um, lastly this is the reference you can also visit the site so now let us make a balance sheet um, for that again i i will share a question with you this is the same trial balance that we have used in unit 2.1 and we are using the same trial balance in unit 2.1 uh what you have to do now you have to take a look at the items which belongs to the balance sheet and the balance sheet items are here these are all the balance sheet items okay and we will be using all these items to make a balance sheet i will stop here for 2 minutes i want you all to take a closer look at this um, at this um, document because then i will be going to the next uh, document i will change it to excel
okay i hope you all must have taken a closer look so now let us start making a balance sheet okay before making the wait let me before making the balance sheet, we have to make statement of owner's equity because uh, now see there are two ways. Uh, I'll explain you here in detail. Either you make a statement of owner's equity separately like this, and you simply write down here total owner's equity. Okay, or either you make a statement of owner's equity here only. So what I'll do, I'll make it here and then here I will simply add up the accumulated amount. So statement of owner's equity के अंदर सबसे पहले आप retain earning note down कर देते हैं और क्या आप उस पे retain earning note down की होगी retain earning is forty thousand retain earning is forty thousand and what was your net income it was thirty six thousand you must have seen unit one point one इन इन दोनों को हम add करेंगे You get here and dividends declared. Dividends um, are dividends is six thousand. Then what you do? You will subtract the dividends. And this is how you get total owners' equity. This is which are on this equity here. Fine. So now we will go towards making the balance sheet. Okay. You will start with the cash. Cash account receivable, prepaid studio rent, and um, Cash account receivable and your prepaid studio uh, um, cash account receivable prepaid studio rent and expired insurance supplies equipment. These all have come here. Okay, these are all your assets. Okay, they are actually um, current assets except uh, I would say equipment. Okay, lava land property. Um, is actually long-term assets when you talk about land, actually. But other than that, everything is a current asset. So this is what you get here. Uh, um, equipment is also non-current asset. But okay, we are not doing it complicated. You can do it in current assets, long-term assets. But I am just doing it simply. It is accumulated depreciation for less than now. From the equipment, uh, so you have your accumulated depreciation seven thousand two hundred. This is going to be subtracted, so you will get here your total assets. Cash. Yes. So you get your total asset 202,000. Okay, let me just do something with the formatting. Okay, now uh, we should have same number. This is your total asset. Now we should have the same number here. 
Okay, so let's see how it goes about. So now take all the labalities. These are all the liabilities. So you add up all the liabilities here. So add up all the liabilities here and now you put up your capital stock here. What is your capital stock? Hundred thousand. And the retainer I think was seventy thousand that we have done last time. Okay, and you add here so you get one hundred and one hundred and seventy thousand. So you get here again the same thing. So now you can see your balance sheet is ready and uh, total asset is coming equals to total liabilities and owners equity. This is what you want. Okay, so this is the end of unit 2.2. I hope you have understood. If you have any query, you can ask me in the Zoom class. Thank you.